Hey guys and welcome to Greece. Hideo Kojima here and we're back to see what happens to our despot Nikolaos. Things are not looking very stable. Hopefully we can try and keep the lands together. Might have to come up with some way to get more prestige possibly. Maybe going to war could help but to go to war I'm going to need something to help out. We do have a few wars actually. Then again we also have the defensive pact against us which maybe we should wait until that's gone. I can't do de jure claim wars because we need to increase the laws in our lands but as we can see here there are many opponents to me basically at the moment not many people are particularly fond of Nikolaus everyone's against us it looks like we're gonna have to just see what happens it's a lot out of our control it feels like at the moment hold a grand tournament could be quite nice ruled for more than five years that's a shame I think he would go on a pilgrimage, actually. Yeah. I probably would go on a pilgrimage. That sounds like something I would do. Other than that, I don't see anything particularly could... We could hold a feast. We just had a feast, though. Uh, plan a grand hunt. That could be That could be fun. You know, let's try, and, let's try and bring everyone together. A bit of camaraderie. Let's plan a grand hunt. We can go for a pilgrimage later. You know, I'm, I'm only 42. Maybe when we're 50, we'll go on a pilgrimage. And let's see. Court chaplain. We'll go of you and convert. Yeah, you need to convert these people. We've still, still got a few Catholics around. Train troops. Go to there. And improve relations, I think we should be going for at the moment. Now, he really does not like me. This one. Okay, so let's send him to improve relations with you. Hopefully he can do a good job. Hopefully you can get him to like us a bit more. I don't know. You arrived at the private rooms of the Prince of Ionus. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. You're looking forward to this. Never like this family. They've always felt like they're above their station, I feel like they think. you got to get your wife pregnant, though. You have to, sir. The church wants to organize a miracle play for a local saint in our domain. They seem to feel I should pay for it. Um, yeah, fine, we'll pay for it. The court faction is now neutral. There we go. At least one is, you know, a bit happy. He doesn't have many men, though, so that's fine. These guys are the problem. They've got too many soldiers. There's too many of them all in there. Late into the third day of feasting, you sit awake, alone, contemplating the revelries. Next to you on a couch lies one of your companions. Sleep in a deep, drunken sleep. Defenseless and beautiful. Skin glowing in the candlelight. What? 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 I think I'll try some. I could eat. <laughs> now, that would sort the problem of, uh, you know, how to deal with this faction. You know, just eat their leader. Um, but then this guy would inherit. Yeah, and he would inherit the empire, possibly. Which would then cause a massive problem. Yeah, and he is the heir. It would just be ridiculous. I think I think then those lands would then go underneath the Holy Roman Empire. Which we don't want to have next to us. We don't have a massive Holy Roman Empire next to us. So that would be really bad. How peaceful this is. I gained crit. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't think he'd eat him. I know we're cruel. But we're zealous. And uh, yeah. Temperate. I don't think we'd eat him. Plus, we're dull. We're not interesting enough to eat this man. <laughs> but yeah, how peaceful this is. I'm now a craven. That's hurt the soldiers that we have. What are you planning to do, sir? No plots. Take revenge. Yeah, I'm part of the plot. So let me try and get rid of that guy if he doesn't get pregnant. But okay. Um, oh! I just got some land. This guy just died of no kids. That is a shame. We better fix that. I have to give that away. So this one. Okay, let's give this piece of land away. Who can we give it to? Anyone on the council? No. Any commanders? No. Let's go through our lands then. They're all mayors and whatnot. Oh, wait, this guy. Yeah, we tried to give him something before, didn't we? But they wouldn't let us. How about now? They still They don't like that guy at all. They don't want him to hold any lands. Let's go back through then. They wouldn't do it for that guy either. That guy I think is Jewish. 
He's a, he's the commander. And that's the Catholic guy. Let's go back up. Pospitos Nikitas. He's a monk. Yeah, he can't inherit. I don't think they're going to let me give it to anyone. No. They're still not going to let me give it to someone. So they're going to cause more trouble. Abdos. Okay. Let's go back for and just offer all the lands then. They're not going to let him have any land. My sisters. I could probably give some land to one of my sisters. That could be someone. I'd have to get them married first. Then give them land. Yeah, they don't have to have anything either. And that... I mean, this guy's Catholic. I can't give it to him. I can't give it to him at all. So there we go. I'm gonna have to. I could give it to this guy. Um, no, I could give it to this guy. Let's see. They wouldn't accept that one, or that. So yeah, the council just isn't letting me gonna give away my land, which is very annoying. The reveling carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Well, it was fun. So you get a bit more prestige over my domain size, though. They're still angry at me. The court faction is now stronger, but they're content. Really don't like where we are at the moment. Really are not liking our position right now. The land, our land is just completely unstable. I don't feel, I don't feel it's a good idea to expand possibly. And Bulgaria finally defeated the Latin Empire. The Latin Empire is gone. Huzzah, huzzah to everyone. Good job. We make a fine team. Let's be friends. He won't be my friend. So the, there we go. The Latin Empire. Right here in Namur. Just sat here on its own. He's in jail with the King of France as well. If he was to die, he's an Imperial Guard apparently. I'm um, we'll go to that guy. Really weird. Weird, weird, weird. But yeah. not Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. I need this council to like me, though. My Master of Whispers does not like me. I feel like we should get rid of him. Have someone who actually likes me. Like this guy. Yeah, the monk. Let's do that. He actually likes us. I trust him. Let's put him as that. Maybe now we could get the council to uh, give the land away. I'm not sure if that would make a big difference. It does. There we go. So that worked out perfectly. There we go. Do it. So we're now to our domain size. We got rid of a spy master who does not like me. We have one who actually does like me. My mission has been a success. Very nice. Perfect. Yes, make everyone like me. Make everyone love me. Love me, please. But they still don't like me much. I've given the order for a grand hunt to be organized in Constantinople. I will find the grand, the, the white stag. I was going to say grand stag. Our hunting party has cornered a large bear. A small argument amongst the hunters regarding who should get to kill the bear has nearly turned into a brawl. Anyone but me. Don't give it to me. I am craven, yes. I mean, after what happened to my father, I'm not surprised maybe he might turn into a craven. The sight hounds thirsted for blood. This gentle afternoon... And they brought us many hares. This is a fine sport. See, I've got prestige. We won a war. I mean, they're all on the council. Why does the glory faction not like me? I don't get it. No members belong to Legion's council. Crown levy privileges. Poor relations with members. That's probably the main one. Yeah. Five or more consecutive years of peace is bad. Losing wars... High decadence for Muslims. I don't think I'm a Muslim. The Grand Hunt is over for now. This was truly a noble endeavor. I'm proud. Well, not much really happened there. We got a bit of prestige for that. I think we're going to pilgrimage next. That's what he'll do. Um, but the defensive pact are now gone, so we could try to expand. Gavriel, he's uncrowned at the moment. We could try to claim... The Grand Principality of Kiev for my 
father's old wife, that means one of the daughters would inherit. Who are our so it would be a good way to expand our dynasty. But that's a six thousand men. Not much different from me, so maybe that's a bit risky right now. We don't really have that many men, sadly. The Duchy of Cyprus wouldn't help us much. Don't want that. Yeah, I don't think many of those things are actually that good for us. So there we go. Getting Kiev would be good, but like I said before, we'd need more more men before I'd try and do that. Come Revolt League and Warfare Aktob. Pomeranian has this piece of land, apparently. Not sure they got. I guess they just inherited it. Portugal. Um, Iberia's looking, you know, interesting. The emperor died in the dungeons in France. So who's the new emperor of this mighty empire? Emperor Nisifor Orisnos. He's of no family. I guess he was just a courtier that after he died has kind of appointed himself. He's Latin, apparently. Crusader. Imperial bureaucrat. Uncrowned. What is going on over there? What insanity is this? What insanity? How are the uh, the Mongols? Ooh, that, that white is getting about the same as what it was before, but still. Take revenge on the drunkard. Uh, I think, didn't I join you last time? I mean, court chaplain. This guy will do. Go convert people. Not had much success at converting, actually, so far. We'll do that one, because that's actually my lands. I still can't get the faction to be happy. I guess maybe because they're so strong. The glory faction is now unhappy. Okay, they're not angry. I don't know if unhappy means they might rebel as well. Like, you have to get them above unhappy. Like, is unhappy and angry, like, they might rebel? Then again, when they were angry, they didn't rebel. Is it like if they go a level below angry? I'm not sure. Like I say, I've not really used this, uh, this mod much. While pondering over the guest list for the banquet, I wondered if I should invite one of my friends. I don't see any reason why not. Of course, I like my friends. I rushed around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready for the banquet when the guests started to arrive. I waited impatiently for the mayor, but still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found a designated place at my table. He was uh, late. He was the last to arrive. Okay. There's an aid regent. Okay, does that mean the factions look okay then? I think we might be okay. I think unhappy. Yeah, unhappy looks yellow there. I think maybe we're okay. That's good then. So, looking like we're getting control of the realms at the moment. We could always go for this island at some point. 8,000 men though. Yeah, I can't fight that. I need to get the de jure against this guy. That would be the best thing. If only. Let's go to the laws. Medium. Okay, we got one We got one support at the moment. There we go. I could buy favours, but I don't think we can afford it. Let's have a quick look. 221 gold. He would say no. I don't think we're going to get any of them. I can't see it. Didn't see it on him. By favor. No as well. Uh, this guy, I think, is the guy who's already going to support us. And by favor. He would say yes. That's just one person. That would not be enough. Who's the advisor? You. Can't go for him either. That would not be enough. We're going to need a lot more support on our council so we can actually get that through. If we get that through, that'd be really useful for us. We can attack them. Oh, the Kingdom of Serbia. This little girl. This little girl in our lands. We could take it for her. I could marry her off to someone. Who could we marry her to? Ah, well that is some good news, but let's get her married. My son is two years old. That'll be 14 years until he's 16. She'll be 26. Not too old, but still. It doesn't seem worth it. It doesn't seem worth it at all. Anything else? Yeah. The Grand Principality of Kiev seems to be the best choice for us to attack, it would seem. 
But my wife is pregnant. If we can get another son, I'd be very happy. Maybe if he loses more men or gets into another war, possibly, we could take him out then. My daughter, though, needs an education. Um, she's very good at martial. She's got five for that, which is her best. Let's do that, then. Apparently, you have a martial education, my daughter, Agony. Congratulations. How about my sisters? How are they doing? Not so great. They don't they don't look so amazing. I should probably find someone better educated than me. Her guardian is him. Oh, he's a monk. Yeah, I'm religious like that. Makes sense. Guardian for my son. Someone smart. Yeah. I, he's our friend, isn't he? Yeah. And he's really six years old. Okay, we need to wait for that. Let's get my sister's different educators. Sign guardian. I, I preferred it before when it didn't automatically sign a guardian. I preferred it before you had to choose. Because then it would come up saying you need to assign a guardian. Then you could go through and choose. I always forget nowadays because it doesn't do it like it used to. This girl's pretty good. She is French and a, a Catholic. This is unbearable. You can't allow that. Uh, go to that guy, maybe. Possibly. Get him to educate her. This girl as well needs an education. Her educator is her. Who was her mother before, but she's not good enough. Have a, have a better one. Stephanie is not too bad. Go for that. This girl needs one as well. Let's go for him as well. And that was the only one. Okay, there we go. I should always remember to do that when I choose a focus. Also check the garden. That's what I'm going to play from now on. Whenever I do the focus, always check the garden as well. I'm pleased to invite you to the forthcoming coronation at Rashka. Okay. The King of Serbia. Well, the King of Serbia before did join my wedding. He's married one of that family as well. Maybe we could be friends. Give me tribute, sir. Give me tribute. He will be given a choice of going to war or accepting your terms. I'm guessing it's money. I wonder if that means you have to become a tributary. Um, I'll gladly attend. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. He died. I'm just waiting if you know this guy dies. Is your wife pregnant? Yes, she's pregnant. But he is sick. That is not good. Don't you dare die before you have a baby. You better have a baby before you die. Or oh, so help me. So help me. I'll be very upset. Inherited the barony. Okay. We're keeping things kind of slow. I know things aren't really exciting at the moment, but we've done a lot of expanding in the time period we've had. Just want to keep things a bit slow at the moment because we want to make sure we gain the respect of our people and get them to medium authority. The Serbian coronation. Congratulations. Long live the king. The coronation ceremony finished. The newly anointed king retired to his castle for the celebrations. This will be a nice celebration. To our good host, King Radislav. Long may he reign. Dorifa stands and delivers an eloquent toast in the king's honor at the coronation feast. Long may he reign. Oh, that was nicer than my one. Deh. Deh. That's unfair. Who are they fighting? Oh, still at the Coast Wars. Okay. At one point in the coronation festivities, the Grand Boyar Boril stands and gets everyone's attention. He delivers a poem in the King's Honor, and it is beautiful. Why has everyone got such nicer things than I do? The coronation feast finally draws to a close, and uh, with the King giving a speech to those gathered, there's barely heard over the raucous cheering, Long Live the King, a fine event. Much so unfair. He got a much nicer coronation than I did. A metal worker named Parillos introduced a new invention of his today. A brazen bull. Intrigued by the design, I asked him to demonstrate it for me, and the result was terrifying. I must have it. It's too terrifying. I must have it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is there anything different here? Can the following effects monetary prestige, general opinion. He reacts to the brazen bull. Okay, so someone different reacts. Your opinion goes down still. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but different people will react. Huh. It's too terrifying. I gained the trait depressed. Okay, so there's something quite terrifying. Would I want it? I think because I'm cruel and proud, I probably would want it. I'm a craven as well. 
her. Coward. But that's more of being a coward than not wanting stuff. Hmm. It's an interesting one. And the result was terrifying. I feel like he'd like it just because it sounds like something terrifying he could use against other people, but not himself. I say, the Craven thing I'd feel like is something like he doesn't want to put himself in a difficult situation where he could get hurt. But when it comes to other people, he wouldn't care so much. So uh, I must have it. Yet another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend some time alone. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dull and uh, you know erudite. I could imagine that. Let's include myself. You're my regent. Thank you. Uh, this man did not like the brazen bull at all. He ordered me to get rid of it. Fine. We gain gold. The brazen bull is removed from me. His opinion of me is increased. And I congratulate him. Never! I congratulate him again. But his opinion goes down. Because it's you who ask, I will get rid of it. An 80% chance that he's maimed or severely... What the... How does that make any sense? Because it's you, I'll get rid of it. Why? I don't understand what's going on. Am I attacking him with the brazen bull? I'm assuming that's what's happening because I'm not getting rid of it. Because it doesn't say you get removed. So I'm assuming I attack... I I'm assuming I attack him. That's what it seems to be. Uh, I'm probably too much of a craven to do that openly. Let's just say never. Um, yeah. I like the fact that he doesn't like it, maybe. But I wouldn't go that far because I'm too scared. Um, I've gained a newfound respect for the hermits of old. My time spent fasting and praying in seclusion has done me good. God has helped me strengthen my mind. A 10% chance of diligence. Okay. I don't think we got that. It usually pops up, doesn't it? Nah. I'd like you to come to a small gathering. Of course I will come. Do you have that baby? No baby for you just yet. Still coming, that baby. Okay, this girl needs an educator. But what's she good at? She's only good at intrigue. That's it. Okay. How about we go for struggle? Because my guy's not the nicest of people. We'll go with that one. And who's the guardian should be? I'm fine with being her. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. So the education's now basically done. Uh, did my son... Yeah, he got rid of pneumonia. He's three years old. So there we go. The inheritance is secure. Ooh, I had another son. And we... Ne oh, it was two... Oh, the line is completely secure. Look at that. What a glorious day for our man. Finally. Finally. Constant... And we named this child after his grandfather. What a good name. Who's the other one? Alexandros. I like that name. Okay. There we go. Twins. I've not had twins in ages in any game I've been playing on the channel. Recently I've noticed the pitiful state of my wife. <gasps> Is this because of her? she gave birth? Call for the physician. And we're going to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I feel like we've got kind of our realm a bit more subdued. It feels not perfect, but a bit better than it was before. People like us a bit more. We don't have many soldiers, though. That's the problem. So I'm not sure if we're going to do many conquests. We need to deal with our realm and get ourselves the medium realm authority. So that way we can then attack the Empire. But we have two more sons. Looking pretty good. The family now has a lot more members. They're just very young right now. We need to give it a bit of time so they can get older. But until then, I've been NG Paradox, and uh, you've been you, I think. <laughs>